Hello everyone, this is Liquid Bear Gaming, and we are back, episode 2 of the campaign. Now, we ain't just gonna go out without a fight. We're gonna, we're gonna go against this guy again. Talrand is going down, and for the sake of, uh, switching it up a bit, I think I'll go with a really cool deck called the Dream Puppets. Now, this is a cycling deck, and it's one of my favorite decks. Basically, your goal isn't to decrease their life with this deck, it's to make them run out of cards. Now this is probably the worst hand I've could have gotten. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mulligan it. This deck is slightly better, I'll keep it. Okay. So he's going to look at the top two cards in my... Oh, never mind. Uh, his deck, not mine. I can't play anything this turn, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to get one of those uh, spirit ghasty guys. Well, I'll probably draw one. I'll show you what it looks like. Pretty awesome card. Uh, he gains plus five if the opponent runs out of... Uh, has ten cards in their discard. Not the Ring of Evil Isles again. So, uh, yeah, whatever creature gets that has to die right away. So we're going to start off with uh, Howling Mine, which is going to make each player draw a... Uh, uh, wait, am I going to be player? Oh yeah, that's going to make players draw a card if they have a creature that's tapped, so, or untapped. Draw, if Howling Mine is untapped, that player draws an additional card. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So, no, it's just every turn they have to. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they have a creature. I read that wrong. I, I don't play this deck much, but it's one of my favorites. Goblin is, like, my top. But, uh... I, I gotta beat this guy, right? No, I'll hold on to that card. That's a good card. Instead, we're just gonna end our turn. Because, uh, we're bound to draw a really awesome card. That is gonna just make him discard his entire hand, because that are the kind of cards you get in this uh, deck. Oh, he's playing his flying things. He's probably got those drakes again. Okay, so if we think about this strategically, we can now summon. No, no, not that one. We're gonna summon the. Uh, Valdrican Entrancer. If you thought the goblins were hard to pronounce, you've never played this deck. Now this guy is really good because of his ability. If he uh, he can put the top two cards of his opponent's library into their graveyard. So every two every turn, if I pay the land cost, he can ah uh, you suck. He can uh, make them discard two cards every turn. Basically, you have too many cards in your hand. Please discard one. Oh, but they're also good. Well, I have two of these guys, so... So, please play a creature. A really big creature. Man, he's playing, like... Interesting, I don't... I don't know what his plan is. Ah, there they are. So he's got two drakes now. It's all good, it's all good. Play another one of these. So if I do two mana there, this one's three, so we have five. Yeah, I can do that. Sweet. And then I can play this really awesome card, which will return one of these to his hand. And it is a token, so it just gets discarded. Nice. Now he's going to get three damage, and probably more, because he's going to equip that, I'm guessing. But now he's drawing a lot of cards, and he's gonna have to discard a lot of cards at the end of every turn. As long as I got one health, this deck is really good. Because as you can see, he's already got a massive card disadvantage to me, 41 to 45. And it'll only get worse as I draw more cards that make him draw. Ah, uh, yeah, he quit to him. I knew he was gonna do that. Oh, he's got two of those? Okay, that's a little cheap. <laughs> K 
Okay, at the beginning of each combat upkeep, the player puts the top cards into his graver. This card is super strong. And then we have that card, which is also really good. And let's just draw. The only problem is, is that all his creatures are flying. All of them. So he may beat me again, unfortunately. But uh, it's not over until uh, he discards seven cards. Four, three, three. So he's going to be doing uh, 11 damage. If I'm doing the math right, four plus three, seven. No, ten. Come on, Ben. Basic math. Jeez. Oh, yeah, it's a flying. That's why it gets bonuses. Shoot. Ah, oh, and this can. Shoot, this deck is really freaking flying heavy. I forgot about this deck. Oh, Fog Bank. Oh, I hate Fog Bank. It's a really powerful card. It basically prevents all damage. But luckily. It can't deal damage regardless if it has damage because of its ability. I'm not gonna block this. Well, I can't. It's, they're all flying. So next turn, I'm either dead if I don't get rid of like half of those. Okay, good. Counter target spell. That's really good spell. Uh, whenever you draw a card, you may have a target player put the top card of his hand into the graveyard. That's good, but I need something better. This is a risky card because it they could draw one right away, or it could like almost unload their entire deck. Now that costs six. Could I then summon a creature? Well, no, I have to. This is like my only chance. What, how much does sleep cost? Four. If I if I hold out till next turn, I can turn them all to. Is this a uh, instant? Okay. And then I can summon this as well. Yes. Good. Now he's drawing a ton of extra cards, and then he's going to do- yeah, this is a good plan. And now all those are untapped, but I'm not going to attack. Even though they're all untapped, that he can still summon a creature and play it. Okay, so he's down to 22 cards. He's playing another thing. Probably going to summon a big griffin, if I, if I know this guy. No, maybe not. He's thinking. Uh, no, that one again. Curses, but he's he's getting rid of his hand faster. So I don't know if it's a good card though. He doesn't care. I'm guessing. So is okay. Well, I know he doesn't have any more of those in his deck. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Twenty-one. Uh, I need this so badly. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can play here. I gotta stop the timer. Yeah, so how much is this spell? Two. No, we lost. Again, I think. Oh my god, unless this is it, unless he draws like a bajillion cards. Nope. Shoot. Oh, why did I do that one? I should have done that one with the artifact on it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter, you can just cancel it. Shoot, I think it's game again. This might be a very long series. Um, I mean, you guys like content, right? Yeah, but if you guys have any suggestions on how I'm going to beat this guy, or maybe just on the deck in general, let me know in the comments. Just, you know, feel free to like, too. And uh, if you don't like it, dislike it and just tell me why, so I can improve as a, as a YouTuber. But yeah, this guy just wrecked me again. So, uh, let's even get more than negative 16. Nope, didn't beat his old score. 
So Coral Eggman beats me again, but you know what? We learned something. I need to play the cycling deck more to get more cards than him. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Liquid Bear Gaming. Have a good one.